So it's safe to say that it's been a minute since I last filmed. And as you can see, the car isn't exactly camper friendly right now. So I'm gonna be spending today getting the car cleaned out, doing a bit of hoovering, a bit of a shaking of the old mats, and seeing if we can get this car all camper ready for a video soon. I don't really feel quite ready yet to go out on a camp. Still feeling quite weak from you know what. But today is to kind of get myself motivated, get the bed in here, get the mattress in, get all the seats set up and just make myself feel like I'm gonna go on a camp. I've missed it. It's probably been the hardest point for me over the last few weeks of not being able to really get out there. I've done a couple of local camps. I did uh, Nescliffe while I was still feeling quite unwell. I did a camp with Dave at Colmere Lake while I was still feeling unwell. All these times I was testing negative, by the way. Um, but yeah, this is the first day today that I've tested negative again after testing positive. And hopefully I can get myself back into the swing of things by seeing the car in camping mode. But anyway, enough of my waffle. For those of you coming to the channel for the first time, you wanna see how I turn this seven-seater family car, Renault Grand Scenic, the three series, into a car camper. So without further ado, let's get cracking. And then taking the seat out is as easy as one. Oh, couple of things underneath there, what's that? Plasters and a fruit shoot. Lovely. <laughs> Never straightforward when you've got kids. <laughs> anyway, this lever on the bottom of the chair there, once I lift that up, I'll just pop you down here, just so you can have a bit of a better view. Once I lift that up, and start bringing the seat back. And the seat comes forward. That's it, it's as easy as that. Right, one more step closer to getting the car in camper mode. Let's get the bed in. Before I put it in, for anyone wondering, how I've made that, I'll put a link up in the top right hand corner here for you to go and see the build video if you're interested. It's probably the cheapest bed base that you can find for any kind of camper. I think in total it was about 45 quid and that was with a lot of surplus wood as well. The actual wood that I've used itself was probably half of what I brought because I did originally have a double bed but now it's only a single. But yeah, I'll put a link up here if you're interested in seeing it. Just a piece of ply or whatever you want to call it wood. I'm not really familiar with the wood. Someone leave a comment below, is it ply? Who knows? <laughs> with some hinges on it that I don't even use anymore, so I'll take them off at some point. And yeah, it's a, a nice comfy bed. I'll show you what it looks like when I get the mattress on as well. There we are, <laughs> camper ready. I tell you what, it gives me inspiration seeing this now. It's been a long, long six weeks of not feeling myself feeling a little bit like I can't do this. But today has been the day where I'm starting to feel like Brandon Explores again. It's a good feeling, it's a good feeling. Car's all clean, the bed's in, the seat's propped up, the lights are on. They've actually stayed up for the whole six weeks. I'm rather impressed. <laughs> I'll leave a link to everything that you see in the car. Um, that isn't obviously in the car itself when I first brought it that I've added to the car to make it a camper in the description below if you're interested in buying some neat little things to maybe turn your car or micro camper into a little adventure vehicle. But I want to say a big thank you as well in this video to everybody who left a comment on the post where I said I was not very well. All the people that have wished me well and hoped me to get better soon. Thank you ever so much for that. It, um, it showed me that there is a lot of support out there for me to do what I do. And it shows that a lot of people are interested in seeing these little videos. Um, I'm certainly interested in making them, so there's plenty more to come. And remember to come back for next week's video when I go through my car camping essentials list. Whether you've got a big car like this or a smaller car, I think the list I've compiled is the perfect starter setup to be safe and to be comfortable doing a bit of car camping. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you ever so much for your support, as always, and I will see you guys next week.